everyone, I'm Alex and today we're going to be making these really cute um, rope baskets for our March grab and go craft. Um, so you can make it a variety of different sizes. It all depends on what you would like to do. Um, the first part of it is going to be taking a bottle or can or something from your recycle bin if you have a glass bottle. Um, I used for this yellow one, which is a really cute size for maybe a plant or something like that, um, a candle, um, empty candle jar from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and you can use, um, I used the iced tea one for this size. Um, you could use orange juice, you could use a detergent bottle. Um, so depending on what size basket you want, um, the, I have, I'll be giving you each um, 24 feet of rope, so you could make any combination of this one and a small one. You could make several um, smaller ones, um, so it all depends on what you would like. I would suggest you make your, your larger one first and then see how much um, rope you have left at the end if, you, if, you, if you'll have enough rope to make something smaller. Um, so that's the first step that you're going to do is grab something from your recycle bin. Um, I'll go over the things that you'll need to gather from home and then in your kit you'll also have um, most of the supplies. So in your kit you're going to have three decorative flowers. Um, we have a variety of different colors and sizes. We're going to coordinate um, with the, the colors of your kit. Um, you're going to have 30 inches of twine. Everyone's going to have 30 inches of twine. You're going to have 24 feet of rope. So um, we had a donation of a lot of ropes. So we have black, we have this gold color, we have white, there's blue, black, brown. So each kit will have a different color scheme going on. Um, you're gonna have 30 inches of colored um, ribbon so that if you choose to use ribbon and the twine, um, so we have a variety of different colored ribbons as well. Um, a ton of that. Um, and then you're gonna have a heart template and a tag so that you can you can choose which one you want to use if you want to use both if you want to use two tag sizes and the brown paper that you're going to cut them out with from home you're going to need move this over here so you can see you're going to need a hot glue gun if you don't have a hot glue gun at, at home we do have um two kits that we are willing to um, have patrons reserve and borrow um, and your kit would include a glue gun and about 10 glue sticks, which is, which is enough to make at least two different baskets. Um, and these glue guns are a little bit cooler. The, you know, my old back in the day in the library glue gun are super, super hot. The ones we're lending out are a little cooler, but still keep in mind that they are hot. So when you're working with them, you just want to be careful not to um, touch the glue as soon as it's come out of the gun. And I'll go over some of those instructions as we're, we're making our basket today. So that is available. If you wanna reserve a glue gun, you can call the library um, or email the library. In your instructions, all that information will be in there for you. Um, from home, um, you're going to choose from your recycle bin um, the size jar you wanna use. Um, and then you're gonna need some tin foil as well. You may or may not want to use a couple toothpicks. I used toothpicks as I was winding the glue around so I, my fingers weren't touching the glue if it bled, bled out. So you definitely want some toothpicks so that you're not burning your fingers. And um, a piece of cardboard as well. I have, for my glue gun, I made this um, for here at, at the library, but it's a piece of cardboard with duct tape covering it just to so that when the glue drips out of the glue gun it's not dripping if you're using a table or whatever it's not dripping onto your table um, i also when i made um, these baskets i had a um, a surface that was a non-stick kitchen counter um, you can use cardboard as well if you choose cut out a piece of cardboard and put it down you, you definitely don't want to get glue all over your nice wood table or even your if you have a really nice counter that type of thing so you just want to be careful when you're working with the glue um, especially if you've never worked with it before um, and like I said um, so the you're gonna have the glue gun glue sticks one or two um, toothpicks a piece of cardboard for the gun and your workspace and some tin foil and the size tin foil that you need depends on what size jar you're going to use um, so this size jar 
was this basket here, and I'll just go over quickly how you're gonna start out. I have pictures in your instructions that kind of guides you through the different phases of, of your, um, your roping. So your tin foil needs to be big enough to come up over the edge. And you kind of mold it to your glass jar or your plastic jar. Because the way it's going to work is you're going to be um, starting on the bottom, wrapping it around, and then wrapping the rope all the way around to the top. Now you can make it as, as deep or shallow as you want. Um, if you have a jar this size and if you only want to make it half um, the, the, the um, basket half as deep, you, it's totally up to you how deep you want to make your basket. Um, some people might want to use them for uh, their planters, for their little pots. So if you have a, a shallow pot, um, and this one here, I, I use four paper clips at my desk, and I made it from this bottle here. So you could make it shallow, you could fill it all the way to the top and have something big and narrow for maybe pencils or pens. So it's, it's entirely up to your creativity what you would like to do. So once you have your tin foil on, the first step, um, you're going to flip over your bottle, can, or what have you, um, and that's where you are going to start your base. Um, I have a little sample here of one that I started previously, um, and you're going to start it and wrap it around on the top like that, um, and I will show you with some fresh rope how that's done. And again, I, I want to caution you your glue gun might, glue might be very hot, so when you're working with it, just be very, very careful. So you're gonna take your rope, and to start it out, you're gonna fold a piece about, uh, maybe that's like half an inch um, together, and you're gonna glue this piece together, and that's gonna be your starting piece. And everything is going to um, wrap around that, but you wanna get that piece um, glued down first, so that you have a place to work off of. So I'm gonna do that right now. So um, depending on your experience level with the glue gun, um, I'm not super experienced with the glue gun, so let me do this. My, um, my baskets all had a little bit of glue oozing out the sides. Um, and I think in this scenario, um, making these baskets, more is kind of better. I don't mind if they look like they have some glue um, coming out of the sides a little bit. It kind of adds a little character to the basket. Um, but if you don't put enough glue on, you're gonna end up when you pull the, um, pull it out of the um, tin foil, it may rip apart. So you definitely want to make sure you have a good amount, a generous amount of glue on there so that the rope is sticking to each other, um, all the ends. So, and as you can see, we've started our first section. And before you go on to the next piece, I just would let it cool a little bit because again, if you, I, I did burn myself a couple times, I have to admit the other night. Um, working on the baskets, so you just want to be careful. Um, and then you've got your first section glued down. Now you're going to put more glue on the inside, and then you're going to wrap it. And you'll wrap it this way. And it's just a matter of continuing to wrap your glue around. And I found once I did the first couple um, wraps around, I found it easier to um, have it on the base. It all depends on what you choose. If you choose something like this, it might be a little more wobbly, and then you might want to put it on your, on your um, paper bag and kind of um, keep transferring it back onto your, the bottom of your, your um, bottle until you get to the next step, which would be going up the side. So, um, let me glue a little more. Oh, and there's the phone. All right. 
So you're just gonna continue around. And once you start, it may start sticking to the top of your tin foil, that's fine. Um, that's gonna happen. And you're just gonna bring it around. Um, let me show you. And you'll develop a little bit of a, a groove once you get going. Don't get discouraged, ha have some patience if you wanna walk away from it, if it's taking too long. Um, it will take a little while to get the base going. It all depends, again, how, how much experience you have. And as you're going around, I'll just quickly show you. It's gonna start making a round loop around, your, uh, around, the, um, around the bottom, okay? Once you get to the whole bottom being covered, then is what you're gonna do is you're going to, um, the edge of your um, rope, let me show you. The edge of your rope is gonna be here like that. And you're gonna wanna take your rope and bring it down the side. So you'll be, you'll be gluing right here on the edge. It'll be hanging over. You'll, you'll wanna do it a little bit wider than the base of your um, jar or bottle. So it will be hanging over. And then when the, the next section that you glue is gonna go like this. It will start going down the edge. And you'll, you'll put the glue on the top as opposed to the side, you'll put it on the top right here. And then that way, you'll be able to bring it down the side. And as you bring it down the side, it will start to come up this way and you'll wanna flip over now because then you can start gluing on the top of each strand of rope. So you'll be going around the edge and each subsequent um, section will glue on top of the next and the next and the next so that you'll start getting um, the edges will start coming up around the side, okay? So um, that takes a little bit of time. Um, a jar this size took me about an hour, so it will take a little bit of time. Um, use your toothpicks. Um, when it's down flat, I use the toothpicks to kind of tamp it down to get it flatter. And you might want to use your toothpicks on the edges too. If it's bleeding out, out the side a little bit, you can kind of scrape it off. Um, you can wait till it's cool a little bit and then scrape, um, but definitely do not use your fingers um, because it is hot as soon as it comes out. And um, once your whole jar is covered um, to the height that you want, the next piece, and you do have in your instructions, it, it does show you all the different stages, okay? Then um, the last part, once your jar, um, your rope is, is covered all the way up to the point in, in the depth that you want, the next piece is taking the tin foil out off of the jar, okay? Or to, so you're gonna unfold your tin foil, and whether it be this size jar, this size jar, you're gonna pull it out and when the rope is on it, it is going to be a little tighter, but it will slide right out. You just have to kind of maneuver it a little bit and it will come out. Um, and depending on how much, tin, uh, how much glue you used will determine how easy the tin foil is to come off. Um, so it's a, kind of a fine line. Um, you do want enough glue on the rope to keep it secure and, and together, um, but you're not gluing it directly onto the tin foil. that's really important as you're wrapping. You're either wrapping and doing the glue on the side or when you start wrapping around the side, you're gonna be doing it on the top. And it will, you know, some will leak onto the, to the tin foil. that's fine. Um, it does give it a more like mosaic, eclectic look. I mean, I, you know, have different varying, I'll show you the insides of each of them. Um, I couldn't get the tin foil because I was very generous with my glue. I couldn't get all the tin foil out, but like I said, it gives you kind of like a mosaic look. And same with this one. Um, they all have varying amounts 
My little small one doesn't have too much, but still it has a little bit. So um, I think that just kind of adds to the character. You are going to, um, you know, pick your tin foil out. Some, some of it will come out in sheets. Some of it you'll have to be a little, um, be a little more exact. You can use your um, toothpicks to like pick at it. Um, you can sit in front of the TV, you know, once everything's cooled off um, and remove it. Um, I would definitely wait maybe a minute or two after you've finished um, and you've pulled it out to start pulling the tin foil back so, so it's cooled off enough so that you're not pulling the basket apart because if the glue is fresh and it hasn't dried and adhered, you, you may end up pulling the basket apart. If that happens, don't worry. Just take your glue gun and kind of touch it up once all your tin foil is off. So the next part is um, creating your design. And like I said, each kit will have a variety of different colors because we have different color schemes. We have the black, the yellow, the white, blue, um, and we have a variety, a huge variety of different ribbons. You can use the ribbon, you can use just the twine. It's entirely up to you. We have um, little um, flower embellishments that will be in each kit. Um, and then you'll just um, wrap the twine around how you'd like it. We have, you can either use a heart tag like this one, you could do two hearts, you could do two, two tags. If this is gonna be like your basket for your keys, you can write keys on it. You could write, I love you, um, whatever, if you're giving it as a gift. Um, so there's a variety of different options and then just um, be as creative as you want. I would use, um, you know, you can, you can tie it and I, for the tags, I also glued down um, I took a, a very small dabble of the hot glue and glued down the um, top and the bottom just so it would stay up against uh, up against the um, the basket. If you want to use a hole punch at the top too to hole punch it, you could use um, one of your toothpicks to punch through. Um, either either or will do, and then you can decorate them. So that is pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email or call us. If um, there was something in your kit that you um, didn't, didn't get enough ribbon, you ran out of twine, um, just let us know. Um, say you made two baskets and you ran out of rope. We have tons of rope here, so if you run out of something, please just give us a call. Um, we're always here for you. If you would like to reserve one of the glue gun kits, um, you can either email or call us. The instructions for that are on um, your instruction sheet. And as always, um, enjoy your afternoon and happy crafting. Bye-bye.